morning. We will begin Mass shortly when we finish setting up. Light the candles. Only a half one. I'm the only one here. Well, let me change into white so that we can celebrate uh, these saints, Saint Rose Philippe uh, Duchesne, and also the dedication. I'll be right back. This always happens. I come out with green and I should wear white, so I will be right back. Father Roberto and I, we love to sing. So you relax and I will sing something beautiful to the Lord. This is a song you don't have the words to, so just uh, listen to these words. Come, ye thankful people, come, raise the song of harvest home. All is safely gathered in, ere the winter storms begin. God, our Maker, does provide for our wants to be supplied. Come to God's own temple, come, raise the song of harvest home. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, thank you for joining Mass, joining all, other, all, all of us here, um, uh, the fathers who you can't see because they um, are not here in the room, in the chapel with me. We're not allowed to be in close contact 
with each other. And when we are um, walking around, we are required to wear the mask. Does everybody follow that rule perfectly? The Dominicans were hard to control, but I try to do uh, my, my part. The um, church today celebrates an, um, a saint whose name is uh, Saint Rose Philippe uh, Duchesne. Uh, she was born in France, in Grenoble. Um, Rose entered the Sisters of the Visitation at age 18, but the French Revolution cut short her novitiate. Eleven years went by before she was able to join the Society of the Sacred Heart. At the age of 49, she made an arduous journey to St. Charles, Missouri, where the first house of the order was an unheated hut. Schools, schools for girls were established despite a dearth of funds. Rose's missionary labors on the frontier were capped by a decade of infirmary, er, infirmity and almost continual prayer. So we honor a saint who uh, was a missionary here in our country. As we enter into these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty God, who filled the heart of Saint Rose Philippine uh, Duchesne with charity and missionary zeal and gave her the desire to make you known among all peoples, grant us to follow her way and fill us with that same love and zeal to extend your kingdom to the ends of the earth, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. So let us listen to the word of the Lord. Today is Wednesday, the 33rd week and we are listening to the book of Revelation. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, had a vision of an open door to heaven, and I heard the trumpet-like voice that had spoken to me, saying, Come up here and I will show you what must happen afterwards. At once I was caught up in the Spirit. A throne was there in heaven, and on the throne in heaven sat one whose appearance sparkled like jasper and carnelian. Around the throne was a halo as brilliant as an emerald. Surrounding the throne 
I saw 24 other thrones on which 24 elders sat, dressed in white garments with gold crowns in their hands. Oh, excuse me, on their heads. Read this more closely. From the throne came, came flashes of lightning, rumblings, and peals of thunder. Seven flaming torches burned in front of the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. In front of the throne was something that resembled a sea of glass like crystal. In the center and around the throne there were four living creatures covered with eyes in front and in back. The first creature resembled a lion, a lion. The second was like a calf. The third had a face like that of a man. And the fourth looked like an eagle in flight. The four living creatures each one of them with six wings were covered with eyes inside and out. Day and night they do not stop exclaiming, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, He who was and who is and who is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to the one who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall down before the one who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They throw down their crowns before the throne, exclaiming, Worthy are you, Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things. Because of your will, they came to be and were created. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm. Holy, holy, holy Lord Almighty, or Lord Mighty God. Holy, holy, holy Lord Mighty God. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for his sovereign majesty. Holy, 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 Lord mighty God. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Holy, 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 Lord mighty God. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Holy, 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 Lord mighty God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While people were listening to Jesus speak, he proceeded to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they thought that the kingdom of God would appear there immediately. So he said, A nobleman went off to a distant country to obtain a kingship for himself and then to return. He called ten of his servants and gave them ten gold coins and told, him, told them, Exchange, engage in trade, engage in trade with these until I return. 
His fellow citizens, however, despised him and sent a delegation after him to announce, We don't, do not want this man to be our king. But when he returned after obtaining the kingship, he had the servants called to whom he had given the money to learn what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Sir, your gold coin has earned ten additional ones. He replied, Well done, good servant. You have been faithful in this very small matter. Take charge of ten cities. Then the second man came and reported, Your gold coin, sir, has earned you five more. To this, uh, and to this servant he too said, You take charge of five cities. Then the other servant came and said, Sir, here is your gold coin. I kept it stored away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you, and because you are a demanding man, you take up what you did not lay down, and you harvest what you did not plant. He said to him, With your own words I shall condemn you, you wicked servant. You knew I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down. Whoops. And harvesting what I did not plant, why did you not put my money in a bank? Then on my return, I would have collected it with interest. <clears throat> and to those standing by, he said, Take the gold from him and give it to the servant who has ten. But they said to him, Sir, he has ten coins. He replied, I tell you, to everyone who has, more will be given. Even what he has will be, uh, but from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now, for those enemies of mine who did not want me as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, this is a horrible story. It's about a wicked king. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, May we come to share your divinity, you who humbled yourself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, with humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, so we make the sacrifice this day in your presence. Wash me, O Lord, from my sins. Clean, cleanse me from all my iniquities. Pray, beloved brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his holy name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Rose Philippine Duchesne, we humbly implore your majesty 
that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The peace, um, uh, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, <coughs> the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. We remember especially those whose names are mentioned on the envelopes for All Souls Month of November. We remember all those whose names uh, who, who were buried from our church since last year, um, last year's um, All Souls Day, and all the dearly departed who we remember now in our hearts. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face, 
have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints, Saint Rose, Saint Rose Philippine Duchesne, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. So let us share with one another the sign of the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death brought life to the world. Free me by this your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of Blessed Rose Philippine Duchesne, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.